back to Bryce's YouTube channel. Today, very special episode, Wilderness Survival. I know many of you of my followers or haters have been wondering if I have what it takes to survive deep in the Canadian wilderness. But let me tell you, this video will answer those questions. Now, I recently got the idea for this video when my friend Aiden went on this guy's camping retreat, which I think is kind of lame. Why is it lame? <laughs> well, I mean, a bunch of guys in a tent eating s'mores. Uh -huh. You know? So, I think survival is done very differently. I think it should be one man, or two men, in the case of Mitch, out in the bush, just trying not to die, just surviving, you know? It's not a bunch of guys prancing around in tents. But this is hardcore. So, thank you for tuning in and staying with me until now. Like and subscribe. So, some people might be wondering, what do you need to survive in an extremely rough environment like this? Well, first thing you're going to need is a little bit of heat. I like to pack heat with me whenever I go surviving. Now, be sure that whenever you're packing a gun around, you keep your safety on. And this is really just for protection, or maybe later on we could shoot a creature that can sustain human life, like a squirrel, a nice juicy rabbit would be nice. And that's just one couple reasons why having a gun with you is so important in the wilderness. Now come on over, I'll show you what else we got. This here is a survival tote, containing everything a man could need to survive. First off, we got this coat. Now this is a woolen and fleece coat. Very warm, protects you from the, the weather, bugs, uh, all kinds of things. And since I, I'm trying to be hardcore and didn't bring a sleeping bag, this baby will be keeping me warm for the night. Next up might surprise you, some good old fashioned boots. Now these boots, first of all, have high ankles. They go past your ankles. A lot of times in the wilderness, people sustain injuries to their ankles. Due to the uneven ground, they fall, twist their ankle, break, and then they can't get out of the bush. So these babies will protect against that. They got treads for grip, and they're really sturdy. They also got steel toes, which come in handy if <laughs> an animal comes at me in the forest, I'll be able to, de <laughs> to defend myself by <laughs> just that. Uh, giving it a swift kick to the nuts. So next up, we got a little something something here. This hatchet, this thing can be good for cutting kindling. It's smaller, so it's light and portable. And you can cut down trees with it, it's throw it as a weapon. It's all kinds of good on uh, survival's hand, all right? Next all right. up, like the hatchet, is a good old fashioned machete. Now this is here is a Gerber machete. It's light, super sharp, and it also comes with equip, uh, equipped with a saw. Very good for sawing. This baby can definitely do some, uh, <laughs> Saws do some damage. Some, you know, it, if a wild animal comes at me, I'll use it for defense. Primarily, though, we're going to be using it to build our shelter. Next up, this here uh, lighter for some fire, some heat, in case uh, we get really cold at night or we need to cook up some meat we catch. It's a good thing to have. Along with the lighter, this here is a homemade hobo stove. And what I've done here is rolled up some cardboard in this can, drilled it with wax, and this is the fuse or lighter. This baby will burn for hours, and it is a great way to sustain heat if the tinder around you is wet and you can't light a dry fire. Uh, we have some ammunition for the gun, some bullets, and last but not least, last but not least, some tuck tape. And this baby can be used for all sorts of things. Now, the sun is in the easterly quadrant, which means it's about uh, 12 o'clock, so it's really beating down on me now and super hot, so I just want to get do something that can just really make me a little comfortable. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is turn my pants into um, shorts, and i got to be careful not to hit my uh, corroded artery. 
So you gotta be very careful when, when doing this because uh, it could be dangerous. If you don't know how to operate a knife good like uh, me, I've been in the bush my whole life, so thankfully I know what I'm doing. Be careful of that artery. You'd never want to hit that because you'd probably bleed out in about four minutes if you hit that baby. It can be used for a number of things. Um, perhaps a bandana to, you know, keep the heat and out of my keep my head nice and comfortable keep the sun out of my eyes a little just soak up the sweat and this right here is a beautiful piece of material it can be used um, as a kerchief of sorts to keep my neck nice and comfortable it could also be used for leg warmers and yeah so those are some of the things that uh, can be used for your pant legs. So basically, we you you never throw anything away, and you put everything you you use in the bush, you put it all to use. So head so comfortable, neck comfortable, and uh, there we go. There we go. What are you angling? Oh, what I'm gonna do is, you know, if you want to eat but you don't have a gun, you're gonna want to make a spear to impale your dinner. Give that a couple good whacks. There. So, as you can see, you might not be able to spear anything with this. You're just going to want to clear all those darn pesky branches off. Like so. And then, before you know it, you'll be killing animals. That's a nice spear. So, now we take out the knife for the finer details. And well now you want to kind of sharpen it because you can't impale something on this if it's dull so we're just gonna want to sharpen this baby up like so it's a tough one All right, so now that I've got my um, spear all sharpened up, I can use it to impale my dinner. So I'll be killing something with this for sure. And uh, yeah, just picture this. A little rabbit down there. That baby's my uh, pro protein and food for later on. So, to demonstrate the spearing technique, sometimes you might not be able to get close. So if you see an animal, you might have to throw your weapon. That's why it's got to be straight. So, this one... Oh, crap. <laughs> so, I forgot that the river was back there. So, if that happens, you're just going to want to go ahead and make yourself another one of those. Easy peasy. Now that the sun's getting low, it's going to be a uh, time to set up your survival shelter. Now there's a bunch of different uh, survival shelters, lean to, cave tunnel, dig out, you know, log house. But what we're going to be going through today is we're going to be using the teepee. Now the teepee was used by uh, uh, ancient Indians to keep them safe and to really just live in. And they, you know, they lived in teepees and they made do with that. So that's what we're going to do now. And we're going to make a teepee for our shelter and we're going to sleep in that bad boy and we're going to have a good time doing it. Okay, so now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be starting out our teepee. So, 
the main things of the TP are the three exoskeleton sort of bones type of thing, right? right. So we're gonna be getting uh, we're gonna be getting the big logs and we're gonna be joining them together in a point, and then we're gonna be attaching smaller logs all around those. So let's get cracking. So get off that. Grab a second biggest log. So you're gonna be standing that up. This one. Move all that bush out of the way. Started cussing. Because the work was getting slow. And the state of our morale was getting pretty low. And the flies swarmed down. Okay, now we're gonna set these. Up just like that. Can you hold these steady as I tape them? Actually, you switch me sides so that they can see me tape it. So now I'm going to get this tuck tape, our survival item, and use this for our shelter. So now you can see that those babies are all taped up. Now we need our third. Our third, which is right here. Holy cow, this one's maybe a bit too high. Don't do that. Good. I was just testing the strength. All right. Now, we take our third. Bend that one back a bit. Like lean it this way. Other way. It's in back, so like this way. So. Why is that in such a bad downward Hey, slope? hold this now. I got the tape. You want to tape it? I would be delighted too. So now what Mitch is doing is he is taping the third one on. So as you can see, we got all three points up like so. And then there's three... Uh, sticks that are coming kind of down like 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 the braces for the shelter. Can I pass that? It's on the wrong side. This one's terrible. Well, you got it. Don't do that. I had it set up perfectly. Dirty log there. All right, so what we have now is our what do you call those? Secondary beams. They are kind of like the walls. They're not the not the big ones, but they are for support. Support. Added support. Added support a little extra. I mean, also just for fun. But and you know, they're kind of fun beams. They are, they're very fun. So as you can time. see now, we got a couple What's extras in there. Beam? Not just three, but now we got some more. So that's the uh, beginnings of our shelter there. Now you may ask, I am digging a hole with this hatchet. And I'm gonna be using this hole to sustain my body heat. And what I mean by that is, I'm going to build a small fire in it. And I gotta be careful because of the dry tinder. But, uh, shelter's coming along. Not quite done yet, but uh, you know what? It's looking pretty good, and I'm just gonna keep digging this hole. see our teepee Got complete with a fire pit in underneath surrounded by rocks for the heat because this is super dry then in there I got uh, some grass and some padding I'll be sleeping on that tonight and uh, yeah it'll be good to go it's pretty waterproof by now as you can see and it'll be uh, good to go so now we're out here in the wilderness our shelters complete we are looking for some animals to 
cook and eat maybe like a snake. I've seen a couple of snakes around here. And you know that guy Bear Grylls, he just cuts the head off and eats them whole. So once I get my fire going, cook up a nice juicy snake, a snake steak. And uh, we'll have like a mini Bryce's cooking show out here. How to cook snake to perfection. And uh, so yeah, I'm hoping to just find a snake and get him. Maybe just hit him with the chop, you know. And uh, hopefully we find some good munchies in that snake and hopefully it doesn't bite me. Deep in this wilderness, there could be snakes basically anywhere. I mean, you know, there's millions of places they could be hiding. And uh, I don't know, I just think that snakes are... I've always kind of wanted to maybe eat a snake, but you know, they're really tricky to find when you're looking for them. I find that every time I'm not looking for a snake, I find one. But every time I am looking for a snake, you know, I don't find one. But, uh, you know, I'm not trying to expend too many calories looking and deplete my energy. you got to save your energy when trying to survive. It's all about energy saving, but I do still want a snake. We're here in, we're here in the sand, you can see some animal tracks, perhaps bird. Hmm, some small little footprints, and I'm thinking if I catch a... Maybe I'll go get the gun and I'll try and catch me a nice juicy bird, some chicken wings or something, you know what I'm saying?